Hello there, Truth Seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round. Today, we're diving headfirst into the murky waters of the Red Sea International Film Festival, a prestigious event that has recently made headlines for all the wrong reasons. Or perhaps the right reasons, if you're a fan of unmasking the theatrics of certain individuals. Yes, I'm talking about none other than Spotlight Hungary, Megan, and her puppet-in-chief, Harry. But stop right there before we disclose any juicy details. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the all-important bell icon, guys. You are not going to want to miss what is coming up next. So now, the Red Sea International Film Festival is no ordinary gathering. It's a glittering affair that attracts Hollywood A-listers from all corners of the globe. We're talking about Naomi Campbell, Joy Michelle, Sharon Stone, the creme de la creme. It's a celebration of female voices in cinema. Our dear Megan. Always eager to latch on to any event that promises a middle vibe, had her sights set on attending this year's extravaganza. She was desperate that she reportedly enlisted the help of WME to land her some roles in cinematic masterpieces. Now, what makes this particular event so intriguing is not just the glitz and glamour, but the fact that it focuses on honouring the achievements of women in the film industry. You know, the same industry that Megan with her illustrious acting career should naturally be part of, but lo and behold, she was snubbed. Let's dissect this. The event held in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, celebrated Egypt's first screen icon, Nabila Ab. It was a star-studded affair with Hollywood elites gracing the red carpet, but where was Megan? According to reports, negotiations between WME and the film festival organizers fell through. It seems that despite her desperation to escape the negative public stemming from the Omid Scobie book saga, Megan's link to certain Saudi princes on a yacht might have cost her her coveted ticket. Oh, the irony. Megan, who claims to be a champion of empowering women, found herself not only excluded from celebrating the cinema, but also caught in the crossfire of negative publicity. Now, let's talk about that publicity. Megan and Harry, our favourite performers, are apparently gearing up for another bombshell book. Omid Scobie, the scribe behind the 2020 tell-all Finding Freedom, is promising an other explosive follow-up title, Endgame. Brace yourself, this one is supposed to be Penetrating Investigation into the current state of the British monarchy, but let's be real, Meghan's desperation to attend the Red Sea International Film Festival wasn't solely about empowering women or escaping negative publicity. It was about seeing the scene among Hollywood elites. Meghan and Harry, the dynamic duo, have been the talk of the town for the wrong reasons. Meghan's attempts to distance herself from the royal family while still clinging onto the royal name are being scrutinised. So what's the lesson here? Perhaps it's time for Meghan and Harry to realise that the spotlight isn't always a friendly place, especially when your every move is under a magnifying grass. The Red Sea snub might just be a wake-up call. As for the impending bombshell, well, one can only hope that the British royal family is ready for it. Meghan and Harry seem determined to keep the circus alive. In the meantime, let's raise a toast to the Red Sea International Film Festival for showing us that even in the world of glitz and glamour, not everyone gets a golden ticket. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again for more royal news and analysis. Goodbye for now.